चीज ना Indian food like gravies or curries are always incomplete without an accompaniment. Yes, it is must to have an accompaniment, and there are variety of Indian accompaniments like Indian breads. And today I'm going to show one of them. Hello and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. My name is Afraz, and now I'm going to show you a naan, but not a simple naan, but cheese naan. So let's have a quick view on the ingredients to make cheese naan. I would require cheese, refined flour, yogurt, egg, milk. butter sugar baking powder baking soda salt so to start with first i'm going to take a large bowl in which i'm going to sieve the refined flour it is very important to sieve whenever you're making any type of dough as you don't want any particles or lumps in your dough Along with this I'm also going to add some baking powder and some baking soda. So after sieving the refined flour I'm going to add some salt. Mix this nicely and make a well in the center so that we can add the liquid things. I'm going to add some yogurt. break one egg if you are a vegetarian you can easily avoid using egg and increase the quantity of yogurt next i'm going to add milk mix this fold the refined flour once everything is nicely mixed eventually you have to use your hand to make this into a dough going to add the remaining milk now after adding all the milk i'm going to add a little water and knead this into a semi soft dough so now as you can see our soft dough for naan is ready i'm going to transfer this in a bowl cover this now before covering we are going to put a little oil over the top and then i'm going to cover it with a damp muslin cloth and i'm going to set this aside for around an hour so now after resting the dough for around 1 hour i'm going to divide this into small portion to make cheese naan and now applying some oil on a work table and now it's time to fill it with some cheese so i'm going to make a dent in the center put some cheese bring all the edges together and now i'm going to shape them into naan by thinning the edges with my fingers like this so like this i'm going to thin all the edges and spread it out into a flat disc and then i'm going to just stretch this stretch it from one side to get a shape of naan like this next i'm going to grease the baking tray with some butter place this naan over it Now the second one I'm going to show it with a rolling pin so you need to roll this in a round shape and then you can stretch this from one end like this to give a shape of naan so this also goes on the baking tray make sure that the edges are thin And now I'm going to sprinkle the remaining cheese over the top to make it more cheesy. And 
and now this will go in and preheat our oven at 200 degrees celsius for 5 to 6 minutes wow so now as you can see our cheese naan has baked to perfection and it is ready quickly i'm going to serve this and when it is hot i'm going to apply some butter i'm going to take this out cut this from between and into half and now quickly i'm going to plate a dollop of butter on the top so here it is cheese naan a great accompaniment which can be enjoyed with any indian food or by itself do try this